your side is clearing up some confusion tonight about the race for North Carolina's next lieutenant governor. Alan Thomas is running for that office, but probably not the first Alan Thomas who comes to mind. Not in your sides. Aaron Dean's here now to tell us, uh, tell us who is who. Well, Ken, check this out. Those two men share a lot in common besides first and last names. And from what I've learned tonight, they even share a middle initial, too. Now, it's that time of year where you see the political signs in people's yards and on the street corners. They're for candidates looking for your vote. There is one man currently looking for your vote who shares the same name as a well known former political person here in the East, Alan Thomas. But is it Greenville's former three-term mayor? I traveled to Kinston to find out. Who we happen to share the same name. We happen to spell our name the same way. We both happen to have gone to East Carolina University, and we both love this state. Alan Thomas signs have popped up all across the state, and I wanted to say that uh, while I am flattered, I am not running for lieutenant governor. Uh, when he was running for Congress, I was getting phone calls, and people were sending me pictures of his signs saying, I'm about to vote for you, you know, um, and now I get to return the favor. He's about to get all the <laughs> harassing calls saying that, that uh, you know, they're going to vote for him, but it's actually me, so the, the roles have been reversed this time. Now check this out, Ken. Another similarity they share, their moms both have the same first and last names. Now, candidate Thomas says if he wins the seat for lieutenant governor, he wants to expand Medicaid, fully fund schools, and raise the minimum wage. Greenville's former mayor, Alan Thomas, tells me the only things he has planned for this election season are work and family time. In the studio, Aaron Dean, not on your side. All right, Aaron, thanks. If there is something you want the Nine on Your Side team to look into, we'd like to hear from you. You can call our newsroom. The number's on your screen, 252-355-8542, or you can send an email to the address newsdesk at wnz.